Today we will be going over this very easy but cool morphing effect in Final Cut Pro. Here on the screen is our website, www.b3-studios.com, where you're going to find a lot of plugins to help and enhance your Final Cut Pro workflow. Some plugins are free and some you have to pay for, but just go check out the site. It will help you out and it's there for you guys. Okay, to start off this effect, we need um, clips that are similar to each other. So um, in this case, I'm using dollar bills. So whatever you try to do, it can be like a person's head, it can be somebody's arm. Just try to just align it um, and have it be the same shape at least. Um, so I already went ahead and masked all of these dollar bills out. Um, but what we do have to do here is we have to line all of these up together in the same kind of alignment. So. What we're going to do here is we're just going to align this $5 bill where this 20 is as best as we can. It's good right there and bring it back. And then we can just do that for the next one. So we got that 50, just align it right where that five is. Put it back in its position and the last one you can place that on top here and align that with the rest of them and awesome so now we are gonna have an effect like this so right there itself that looks pretty cool itself but we're gonna do like a morphing effect so uh, how we kind of get this effect to work is we're going to go to our transitions here. This is our effects tab and this is our transitions tab right here. We're going to go to our dissolves and um, we're going to go to flow. Actually, before that, you want to make sure that your clips are all in alignment. So you're going to highlight every single one of your clips. You're going to hit control D to bring up the time. And this here is where you're gonna select how long you want your frames to be. So if I put seven right here, it's gonna go for seven. If I put five, it's gonna go for five, it's gonna be shorter. If I do control D and do one, it's gonna be really, really short. Okay, so depending on how you want it, I'm gonna put mine, I'm gonna go control D and I'm gonna put seven, all right? So. After we get that done, after every clip is the same length, we are going to drag our flow transition in here, resize it, and drop it down at the next one, resize it, drop it down at the next one, and resize it. All right, now we can play this through and let's see how this looks. looks pretty good um, but we want this to last even longer so we're gonna hit we're gonna highlight everything control D let's go for nine so that's gonna make the effect last longer so let's play with our transitions right here and let's see how this looks so far So that looks pretty good. So once you're satisfied with how your effect looks, you can just replicate this. You can just copy all of this, Command C, Command V, and just keep doing that. And some spaces you're gonna have to put your transition back like the empty spaces right here. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, depending on how you want your effect to look. Um, like I said, guys, it's all up to you how you want your effect to look. I'm just giving you a tip to kind of 
spark your creativity. So as we play this back, this is gonna look really good. Kind of morphing effect. And like I said, guys, you can not only do this with dollar bills, you can do this with any object. Just make it the same shape, um, the same size, and you will be good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for the day, and I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, please consider liking the video and subscribing because we will be coming out with a lot of content to help you out. And make sure you visit our website, www.b3-studios.com, where we have plenty of plugins. Some are free and some you have to pay for, but all in all, they're going to help your Final Cut Pro workflow. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys soon. All right, thank you. Bye.